What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back again with Fandom Flakey's April 2020 box. This is actually the second year anniversary of the launch of this box. So the makers from Night Owl and Bee's Knees have invited their very first guest maker back for this anniversary. We have the Boy Bands box this month featuring Never Enough Polish. This is a crazy fun box, you guys. I have been binge listening to Backstreet Boys um, since we have been quarantined. So I'm digging it. This is definitely vibes for right now, and I'm so excited to present it to you all. So let's dive right into the swatches. First up, we've got Bee's Knees Lacquer. This is Bye Bye Bye, described as a cornflower blue polished with red to orange to green UCC flakes and orange to green iridescent flakes. This is such a pretty base color. It's got a very smooth formula on application, really creamy on those brush strokes. For opacity on it, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. I personally took it up to three coats, but I thought two coats looks very good on it as well. So definitely gonna depend on how you polish. So as you build it up, that base color is so stinking pretty. I'm really digging it. Now the flakes in this one are of the small to medium sizes. So you'll get a nice like sprinkling effect across your nail in the final look. Lots of self leveling with this one. This is a beautiful formula and I am really loving that base color. It's so flattering, so pretty. So here on that third coat, I'm going in really thin on this one. Um, I wasn't sure if I should take it up to three or not. I did like it at three, but like I said, two, I think might've been just fine too. Um, three was just me, me being pretty extra at this point, but it plumped out really great and it dried down pretty nice on that third coat. So either way, here on the final shot, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied, no texture or anything like that with it. And Night Owl Lacquer brings us Hangin' Tough. This is a white curly with holographic flex, black shreds, and lots of color shifting crystal chameleon flakes in these bright 80s colors. So obviously, um, Bee's Knees brought us NSYNC and Night Owl is bringing us new kids on the block. I want to say this polish from Lindsay is probably one of my top three favorite night owls. And I don't say that lightly because um, I do consider myself a pretty much super fan of her polishes. I love this one. There's something about it. It's so nostalgic. Those black shreds are of the medium and larger variety. However, when you build it up, those iridescent flakes are in the background and it's so pretty. It reminds me, I don't know, it just, it's just so nostalgic. I really, really enjoyed this one. So um, definitely in my top three for Night Owls. It's just so interesting, so different and very, very unique in the best way possible. So for opacity on this one, between two and three coats, once again, here on that second coat, you can see just a touch of my smile line still showing. So just to see what would happen, I went in with a third thin coat I thought I had really nice coverage at this point. It is a more delicate shade, so definitely note, if you have a very prominent free edge, um, I would suggest maybe using a color correcting base coat, but honestly, at that third thin coat, I really felt like it was perfectly just fine. I didn't mind it at all, I'm really digging it. And you can just see how complex this is. I'll be sure to show you guys the macro shots at the end for the recap. It's just awesome, I really liked it. So go on just a touch heavier on your top coat and you'll be good to go on any texture. And Never Enough Polish brings us, I've got a question for you, obviously BSB. And this is described as a linear hollow that shifts between blue and purple with silver flakes. So this is very lovely on formula. It's definitely got a creamy feel to it. However, it behaves like one of those linear holographics. So it's got just a touch of a, of a metallic feel to it. For opacity on it, I'm gonna suggest two coats with the caveat that if you are rocking longer nails than what I have in the video here, um, you might need to go in for a third coat on it. So this builds up very easily on opacity. You can see here that there's definitely a linear effect to it in the holographic uh, goodiness of it, for lack of better words. And there is this scattering of those silver reflective flakes here, very pretty. Now this one in bright lights and say, once again, your kitchen lighting, you're gonna see it as what you see on the video here. It's got that lovely bluish type of effect to it. And at very extreme angles, you'll see a bit of a purple shift. I do consider it more of a subtle type of shift, but it's definitely there at extreme angles. And Ribbit and Stick It brings us tons of water slide decals this month. You can add this group of, of slide decals on for 10 to your box this month. As you can see here, there's a ton of images from boy band stuff to Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, 
um, new kids on the block, all that good stuff. Really fun images here. Um, I had a blast making the nail art look for this month. And she also brings us a holographic sticker that you can grab and also add onto your box for six. This is quite large um, in reference to my hand here. You can see it's really wholesome and awesome. I'm just, I love this theme so, so much. So for the nail art look this month, I am using a Winstonia plate and I'm doing a multicolored stamping effect that um, in my opinion, I was feeling the 90s vibes here and a bit of the 80s. So I'm going in with some pastel colors. These are from Esmaltes de Kelly. That's her stamping polish. I totally love it. Highly recommend it if you're looking for stamping polishes. Um, I'm going in with greens, a little bit of this corally pastel color and pink and all that good stuff. And then I just go in and blob it on there and wipe it away and you'll get this nice multicolored effect. And I'm going over a white base. If you're curious, that is Night Owl's White Cream Polish Ya Basic White. And I'm just stamping it right on there. Um, in the video, I feel like the stamping here is looking a little subtle. Um, I purposely did that. I kind of wanted this like acid wash effect to it. But in person, it's just a little bit more noticeable um, than what you're seeing on the bright lights. So here I'm going in with the one of the water slide decals and I'm putting this one on my middle finger um, just for a bit of an accent nail. On my other nails, I did the um, the dancing figures and I did those at the very ends of my free edge. So it's a bit of a cute dancing type of uh, theme going on here. And it's the same type of technique that I did on the one that I'm showing you here. So when you're finished, you just go in and top coat with the glossy top coat of your choice. I personally like to use um, slightly thicker ones just to smooth everything out in case I made a mistake when applying the water slide decal and I'm good to go. It covers up any uh, imperfection and so, so cute. I really liked how this one came out. I was actually proud of myself for um, actually being creative for once. I feel like I, I really uh, nailed it for lack of better words, at least in my opinion, who knows. So the sale for the boy band box starts April 10th at noon Eastern time and the pre-order will end April 17th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. The full box with the three polishes and it will be 30 plus shipping. And of course you can always add on the ribbits and stick it's holographic sticker for six or the water slide decal sheets for 10 in this box. I'll link you guys below to Fandom Flaky's shop as well as the Facebook fan group. Keep in mind if you are one of the first to order, they typically have like 40 something boxes available that will ship out immediately. And then after that, those will be a part of the pre-order shipping process. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.